Hi guys, I'm back. I'm actually gonna start this from the beginning. It's not copyright song from YouTube. And this is their 30 million subscriber playlist. I'm already coming in with the face done and everything else. I wish I could set a pipe so you guys couldn't see my damn part. Um, I'm going to grab a hair clip real quick. Ow, my foot, my foot, my foot, my foot. Sorry. I'm one of those stupid women that can't edit. So what you see is what you get. I apologize for that, but such is life. There are worse things in life. Not being able to edit a video, I think. Let me just pin this part up. So, how's everybody doing? Is any, you know what? Let's legit, let's talk about the weather here. Why? Let's see something. Sit on the legs and kill my ankles, or go even. And if I go down like this, well, that's the ticket. Maybe. Is it following me? Okay. All right. This will be good, I think. Okay. So I can play. Um, it seems like I'm the only person that realizes. I talk to people all the time, but it's like, ah, the weather has changed so, so much. It's unbelievable. Right? This is August. Illinois, Chicago. We're not at, at least 90 consecutive days, high 80s, 90s, 100s. You're guaranteed that. It's like you die from literally the end of May, the month of June, July, and then halfway into September, right? Four very distinct seasons. It's not been happening as of late. And I wish I could keep track. And, uh, I need a crease brush. I'm gonna use this big fat boy as a crease brush. I'm doing a Huda, 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 Huda Beauty Topaz Obsession. And then it's orange. So we have the hooded eyes, and we're just gonna do like this. Back and forth. Oh my god. Okay, I hope you guys are enjoying this commercial. So we'll put this in. Um, way to ruin a good song. The way they put these cuts in just kills me. Seriously. Um but no, it's like the weather patterns have gone bananas. Can, can you stop moving? There's nobody over there. I'm right here. This, this little camera holder thing is haunted. Stop moving. Oh my God. And I listen back to my videos and it's like, who the fuck are you talking to, Lynn? Stop talking to yourself. No, technically I'm talking to myself because I'm here talking in a video, right? Let me turn this down a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Anyway, it's it's just so and I don't know, I don't think this has anything at all to do with, you know, the virus or anything. I actually think it has something to do with how the earth got knocked off of its axis when that huge earthquake and tsunami happened in Japan. It's been over a decade. At least, yeah, hasn't it been about a decade, I, I want to say? I have no concept of time. None. Well, I do, but it's so askew. It's like unless I experienced it firsthand, I don't know. But you notice it grocery shopping. One, you know, a couple times a year, I like to make okinomiyaki. And I'm very glad that I actually found out that 
my original recipe, I put on video, put it on YouTube. I lost it because I didn't write it down. <laughs> and then the old noggin goes because, you know, you reach a certain age and uh, it all goes downhill. Um, wow, okay, Huda Beauty stuff is not, the light colors are not pigmented. Are you seeing this? I'm rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. I had already prepped my eye with Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is like the main stuff for that. No, this is eyelash glue with this, <laughs> right? But it's like Topaz Obsession's my ass. Maybe we're just gonna sit here and shit talk Huda Beauty and how crappily pick. Can you see this? Can you see it? I'm not sitting in the dark. I'm literally right in front of a window. All right, let's go to the next darkest color and let's see if this is any better. Okay, let's try this one. There we go. Oh my God, we have some payoff. We have some pigment. Okay, so this color in the middle sucks butt. Don't use it. Now I'm using this color here. Um... But yeah, so I like to make okonomiyaki. Uh, it's a Japanese pancake. You buy okonomiyaki flour. Recipes on my YouTube channel, okay? It's literally, it's like Japanese street food and different areas in Japan make different kinds, you know? Um, Okinawa has their own way of doing it. Tokyo has their own way of doing it, what they add. And the Chicago way of doing it, I use the kapusta, Polish for cabbage. Well, it's also, I guess, Russian for cabbage, Ukrainian for cabbage. It's kapusta. Okay, it's cabbage. Finally dice it. I add water chestnut because I like a bite and stuff. I put it in my stuffing too for Thanksgiving. Um, leeks, not leeks, green onions. Because I, they're called like, I use the whites and the green parts. Um... I did throw a shallot in, I think this last batch. I used cooked shrimp before. You can add like anything you want, anything that you have a taste for, and then you bind it with this special flour and water, and then at the end you add an egg in, and the egg is like the last thing to add to mix it all up, and you cook it like a pancake. And then you top it with this lovely sauce that's made out of like plums and figs, and. It's kind of a mix between, it's going to sound weird, but it really is good. It's kind of like a mix between, oh, uh, what would it, American, American, what would it taste like? Uh, maybe A1, ketchup, some soy sauce, some Worcestershire. So maybe that's the kind of blend it most resembles. You know what I'm saying? It moves pretty well, this color. Um, but every year, it's like the last several years, the, le the cabbage has gotten worse and worse and worse. The quality of the cabbage, the size of the cabbage, and that has to be from climates changing, you know what I mean? I mean, we live on planet Earth, we know that the climate's going to change. If we didn't, when we were in school and we learned about, you know, oh, the, this is what killed off the dinosaurs, you know, there's a Mesozoic area, Paleo, whatever, all those eras, right? Um, if we weren't able to spot that, you know, the extinction of two different levels of dinosaurs, this is a planet. You cannot control the climate. You cannot. It's impossible. Are we doing things to ruin the climate? You betcha. But on a general scale, can we do anything to stop it? No, not really. Everything I think that people try to do is just, just bullshit. It's just people want to feel better like they're making a change. But scientifically, I don't think anything's been proven. You know what I mean? And the thing is, when the brunt of it falls on the United States to do, then you got countries like China where you can't walk outside without getting a gas mask on because it's so bad. The small, It's like... Please, cut me 10,000 breaks.
you know, if the UN or whoever don't want to hold the countries accountable for where this shit's happening, then, you know, Americans and Can Canadians, Canadians, <laughs> I like calling them Canadians, it just makes me feel better. So the Canadians and uh, the Americans, they, they ain't going to do jack shit to equate with the population. Oh, let's uh, let's talk about you know India and the Ganges River and all that pollution, and everything. It was like, come on, you know, it's we're, we're like we're just like insects. We're not making a difference. It's nice to think in theory because it makes people feel good and you know morally, you know, up there. But we're really not doing shit. That's my opinion. And I am entitled to my opinion. Now, what do I want to do? Do I want to do anything special? No, because I just wanted to complain about cabbage. Size of cabbage. Oh, yeah. Every St. Patrick's Day, usually there's a ton of cabbage, right? Ton. And then my mother goes and tells me. I want to say maybe yesterday. No, it had to be last week. We're talking about the different cabbages. And I was complaining, of course, about the size and the condition of the cabbages. And if they're not as full, the leaves aren't as thick. And that you have to really peel off so much more than you are got a head like this. You know, and, you know, I'm a Polak. I like making cabbage rolls, stuffed cabbage. And a European woman does, you know. You're Russian, you're Ukrainian, whatever. You're Polish. You make stuffed cabbage rolls. That's just a fact of life. And the fact that you're going to have to buy, like, four heads of cabbage now just to make one pot of holopsy, gonky, come on. But she informs me she made corned beef and cabbage with Napa cabbage. I'm like, you did what? What was that sacrilege you just, I just heard? Yeah, she did. She, she, and I'm stunned. I'm just going to go in with one of these shiny... Um, I'm going with this, yeah, this bronzy, yeah, mm, with this color right here. Ooh, it looks like kind of sh pigment shifting. So I'll put that in my eyes. It glides on nicely. Nice. Um, but she used Napa cabbage. And it's like, I don't know what the purpose of Napa cabbage is, because I've never wanted to eat it. I know sometimes they will cook it up and they will put it, not cook it up, they'll place it in salads sometimes um, for a crunch, but as far as boiling it, I don't know, it's like, to me that just doesn't sound good. How does that look? Does that look okay? I don't know, come a little bit, come a little bit closer, you're my kind of man. I don't know, does it look okay? Hmm. Maybe I need to, should I try and do a little bit under? Let's give it a shot and see. But yeah, so she made, um, corned beef and cabbage with Nampa cabbage, and I'm like, to me that's just like gross. Oh, the other, the other dish that I like to make that is a very Polish dish is, um, oh, Polish word for it is haluszki, haluszki. And that is just chopped cabbage, add an onion, some garlic, shallot, and you boil egg noodles and butter and you mix it all up. You can serve it, I don't know, some sour cream if it gets your fancy. But it's, it's yummy. It's yummy. It's really good. A little bit of caraway seed. Dill. Lots of dill. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to screw with trying to outline my eyes. Let's bring out Moody Patootie. Love Laura Lee. Okay. Let's go with this little tiny brown here. It's called... What is it called? Is that called butt naked? I got new glasses. <gasps> no, no, no. New script glasses. It's called butt naked. Okay. 
butt naked for the exhibitionist. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so let's go underneath the eye a little bit. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. And shall we bring it up a little? Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to bitch and complain about the quality of vegetables. Oh, and carrots! Carrots! Don't get me started on carrots. What the... Hello? 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 Hi? Hola? Konnichiwa. Carrots. This big, like this. What is with all these prepubescent carrots that they're selling now? What the hell? What do you call that? What do you call that? Why pull them up so soon? I don't, I don't understand. I don't. I'm just going to do this with the other eye. And then I'm going to really hate. Jeez. I thought the ghosts were only at my house. But it seems they followed me over to Lauren. Stop it. And I just put it in the wrong eye pot. Okay. <laughs> um, carrots are little. So I figured two years ago, right? I was going to grow my own potatoes. Hello, hello, hello. And man, I babied them. I fed them. I did. The only thing I could not do is we have a groundhog that lives underneath our shed. And that mother would come out and eat all the tops of the greens. And since technically it would have been like thrown into the, um, oh, what is it called? You know, the, the green garbage bit. Or, um, mulching, whatever the hell it's called. Um, I didn't think there was a problem with him eating it, but he would just be so ballsy to stand out there and start munching and munching and munching away. And he really gave zero fucks about who saw him. He's like, I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat. The food, the food is right there, you're feeding me. These are potato, you know. And I was doing it in potato bags, which is what they suggested to do. And I had so much soil. And it, they would look so good on the outside. Oh my God, it's like, so I waited and waited and waited and, oh my gosh. I think I may have raided the bags a couple of times. I went to the top and dug out some potatoes, you know, just to make some boiled potatoes with some butter and dill. So I think I might've done that a couple of times. So maybe I took too many. But the way it starts is you put your potato with the little roots, put it in deep and then you layer them and those little roots grow up and then on those roots, more potatoes come. And that's how it happens. So I thought, you know, it's like, okay, because I couldn't see. It's like, why the hell am I paying? And this was two years ago. $7 for five pounds of Idaho potatoes. It's like, really? Is Idaho having a famine? You know, or is Ireland not sending us any? I don't know. I'm just being stupid now. But I got mad. It's like, I'm going to grow my own potatoes. And the thing is, is now... I'll, I'll pay whatever price they're asking because my potato crop failed so epically. There's a video on my channel. You can go look for it. It was bad, but it shows me taking care of it and everything else. But with all the money I invested between putting bone meal in and vitamins and good soil and manure, I mean, the good stuff, the good, you know, to try and be wholesome. And I have a green thumb. My, I, I, I have a green ass thumb. I can grow. Yeah, so and now the kids see. I call them kids, they're in their thirties. They're still my babies. Lauren and Doug, Lauren and her husband Dustin. So the babies see how hard it is now to grow your own vegetables and they they take it uh, they don't take their vegetable buying or consuming for granted anymore. Just like I stop because once I realize it's like Girl, you tried it, so stop your bitching. All right, so these are my every day wear glasses that I'm supposed to wear constantly. It's a bitch driving them, driving with them on because I haven't driven with prescription glasses on ever, ever. And I have had restrictions on my license for the last 20 years. So it was scary. 
um, doing it the first time because I have no depth perception. And the glasses, unfortunately, don't give me depth perception. It just makes it clearer when I'm going to hit the curve. <laughs> what is going on? It's like it's going to storm or something outside. I don't know. I like talking to the camera. I'm going to learn how to... I have to learn how to. I want I want to live stream. I, I want to be able to talk to people and have people talk to me back and have little comments so that I can read the comments and everything. But my my tech knowledge shit. That's why my videos are shit. They're unedited. They're raw. You know, you want to look up the term raw dog in YouTube videos. My picture's right there. Go look at Chicago's channel. That shit is as raw as it comes. As much as I would... The, the most I can do is, like, take out entire video <laughs> words and play music over it. That's like, I can do that. Other than that, I can't create thumbnails. Hey, over here. Um, lipstick. Lippy, 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 lippies. Okay, come on. Okay, so this is... I can't see what it is. Okay, I can't read it. Can you? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know who makes this, but. Got a really good lip liner. Ginger Arts lip liner. She is mwah, just perfect. Oh, it's packing. I didn't pack it. I packed every... Oh, my God, my packing. It's like... I, I was ready to do the house sitting, but then we got hit with a fucking blackout. We lost all of our power for a couple of days, so it just threw me for a literal loop where I would have been packing slowly every day, adding things, thinking of things. Then it was like, okay, Friday's here, Mommy. You gotta go cat sit. And it's like... Yikes! Yeah, I left without half my medications, which was not fun. I got sick. I had to drive home sick. It was bad. My daughter doesn't keep bread in the house. It's the weirdest thing. No saltine. It's like, you gotta have something just in case. Just in case you get sick, you know what I mean? Or if you have a friend that gets sick while they're here. Because they are very social people. My daughter and my son-in-law. Feel bad. My daughter's schedule changed. Since we're going into September soon. The weekend's going out on the boat because she was used to doing it. It's like Saturdays and Sundays. Or doing shopping on Saturdays and going on the boat Sunday. She's not going to be able to do that. Yes, she'll be working. So I told my son-in-law I'd be his partner in crime. Even though it's so painful and it just hurts so bad every time I go out on the boat. It's like... But there's some things... Natasha Denona. This stuff is... I, I love it. It's matte. It doesn't make your lips feel like they're being squeezed to death, you know what I'm saying? And it dries down. Okay, just such a nice, creamy formula. I don't know. I love Natasha Denona's eye stuff. I love her foundation. She has this tube foundation. I love it. Why is this so... Listen to it. Can you hear that? What is that? Is, is this loose? I throw lipstick all over. Look at that. It dried down some. So nice. Mm -hmm. I love lip stains. That's like the latest thing. 
I have a bunch of lip stains at home too. But did I bring any? No. Why? Because the storm threw me off balance and I just don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't. All right. So this video will be going up soon. Um, I'm just gonna do various videos. I realize I have this pension for buying browns and green, so I'm gonna try and mix up the color palette. I just came pre-done with my face makeup already done and stuff, so I hope it doesn't look too crappy. Oh, eyes, close up, close up, close up, close up. Okay, can you see that? Mm -hmm. This is them closed. Don't look at the bloodshot eyes, okay? Don't look at the bloodshot eyes. The girl spent the most part of the day crying. Stuck in bed till 11 o'clock. I couldn't get out of bed. I was in so much pain. So yeah, I sat there and cried for like 30 minutes feeling sorry for myself because I'm all alone. And it's like, just get yourself to the couch. Just get yourself to the couch. Get some water. Get your meds. Yeah. So it's gonna suck when I need to go buy a bed, buy a bed because I don't even know what kind of bed I need. It's gonna be a foam mattress, probably be one of those purple ones. Anyway, that's my end rant about vegetables and climate change and all that other crap. Just reason for me to jabber on and talk about makeup. Play with makeup! I mean, after all, I really don't care how I look because you just wash it off and it all goes away. <laughs> But it's fun to play. Oh my God, I was denied this shit when I was younger because we was po. So now it's like I have cosmetics coming out of my ass and I'll just keep playing with them, playing with them, playing with them. And maybe one day I will learn how to do... <laughs> oh my God. Oh my G. Oh my G. And that's that little girl from the hood talking. Oh my G. Did you see this? Like one of them is like, mm. one day, I, you know, I actually thought for a minute there, I'm like, oh my God, my eyebrows are growing back. And you know what? It was a shadow from the powder. And I mean, no, no shame or nothing, man, but the Puerto Rican girls in Chicago, they know how to do a fucking eyebrow. They just, it's like whoosh, one quick, I actually YouTubed how to do my eyebrows. Like, you know, the girls in Humboldt Park with his they fuck it. It's just, wow. It's a, it's great, and it's '90s, and it's well. It actually is a look that started in the late '80s. That's when I started plucking mine to heaven, and then they stopped growing. Um, there's no YouTube videos how to do your uh, because I, I I guess all you do is draw, <laughs> but I'm too stupid to figure out the template. There's something wrong with me. Okay, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. If you wouldn't mind, hit the like button. Um, I'm not monetized. So it's like, come back. What the frack? You know? Um, yeah. We'll see you soon. Peace out. Bye, guys.